In this video, we're going to learn how to add a class in JavaScript to be used for styling purposes in CSS. So um, the first thing you need to do is link your CSS folder. I created a CSS folder, and then I'm linking it in, in the head there. And there's my CSS uh, area there. And uh, you have to reference the ID. So the ID name is Godzilla. That's the one over in the body tag. Document dot, cre uh, dot class name, and then you title the class whatever you want. I title mine blue, and then you call a class in CSS by the dot. So dot blue, and then color blue. So now the text is blue. <clears throat> so that's pretty. That's is that easy. You just you know you reference the ID that you have in HTML. You type class name and equal signs, and then in quotation marks you title the class wherever you want. It's really that simple. And uh, we're gonna do another one. I'm gonna do a p tag, uh, but uh, I have not uh, created the element yet. So let's do that first. So we're gonna review from last video. So you can call the the variables whatever you want. I called mine, you know, one, two, three, and now four. So document that create element is what you use to create an element so we and the p is for paragraph so we're creating a, a paragraph element then i created another variable and this is where you create the text so you have to use a, <coughs> uh, excuse me no this one is where you um, grab the element from the html site so the uh, the id name is shazam so you get element by id shazam in essence, you're pulling it over to the Java side. So then you append those two together. And, uh, you know, you take the first variable and you append it to four. You make those two equal to each other. So this is just to create the, the you know, the element. This is no, this is not even have text on it yet. So there's the, the paragraph element with ID Shazam. Just so you can see it did get created there. And now what we're going to do is put the uh, text on the, the element. So in order to do that, uh, you use the create text node. So you, you do another variable, and then you, you do the document.create text node function or feature, whatever you call it. And then you type in the text that you want inside of the paragraph. So create element, get element ID by ID, and create text node. We're using three different kinds here. And then uh, you basically you just um, append the ID to the new variable you just created. So the ID is Shazam. So you type in Shazam dot append child six. So you, in essence, you're kind of making those two equal to each other. So then when you open it. Uh, you're going to see some text for the paragraph. This is the text I'm writing for the new paragraph. So we have the paragraph there. We have the text on the paragraph. Now let's add the class. So uh, this is where I put the class, but I think what I'm going to do is remove the one we had there previously because I I wasn't sure if they would interfere with each other and I didn't want to uh, have it interfere on the video. So uh, to add the class, you call the ID, so Shazam is the ID on the paragraph, and then you use dot class name equals, and in quotations, you title the class, whatever you want it to be. You, you could call it King Kong or Godzilla. You, you could have called it whatever you want. I did mine red, so to call the class in main CSS is dot red, color red. So now we're going to open it up, and now the you know the paragraph is red. The uh, text is red, and that's how you use styling in CSS, uh, and that's how you combine it all. And I'm going to put the other one back now. Dot blue, which was the other class we created earlier, and it was color blue. So I'm going to save that and refresh it, and now they're working together. The red and the blue are working together, and that's basically how easy it is to create variables, paragraphs, and classes.